Jim Nico here with the Social Network Show to Around the World. Uh, 74 countries are verified as uh, listening and tuning in. To go. Our website is the Social Network Show. Dot com and Sam Dever is now in charge, our co-guest with Dr. J. Uh, Sam? Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Uh, we're here with Ross Martin, founder of the Social Media Film Festival. How are you doing, Ross? I'm doing well. How are you, Sam? Doing well. Doing well. Uh, first off, I love the story of how you discovered the festival. Could you, could you share that with us? Uh, it's roughly a year ago, uh, back in around June 2011, I was attending uh, a social media event. Like People are starting to celebrate social media uh, just in itself, uh, you know, having parties and so- social media day, social media week. And I was also attending film festivals. And so I had a couple of different things going on in my mind. And one day I kind of took uh, social media and film festival, kind of like you would on... Um, Sesame Street? <laughs> if I could borrow, you know, yeah. <laughs> recent current events. Uh. You were on Sesame Street? No. No. <laughs> I was Big Bird. No. I'm, I'm out of a job now. Um, no. Uh, so I took social media and film festival and I slapped them together and thought I should go to the computer and somebody must have this thing. Uh, you you know, thought it was for sure going to be taken. Somebody's got sure. this domain. So I just like sit in type it in and uh, it was available social media film festival.com so I was extremely excited and incredibly horrified at the same time <laughs> oh you no, realized now you had I to do, do it. it I had to, I had to go through and you know go ahead with this thing because right. I had to you know it was just one of those things uh, that's how I get you know if uh, just I didn't even know what it was at the time you know uh but if something feels right and, uh, you know, you just got to go for it. No, so, absolutely. Absolutely. So how did it go? How did the festival go? I know it's well, been about a month now. Yeah, I'm still digesting and, uh, you know, decompressing. But I'm also still working on the festival because, uh, as you know, um, well, I put a lot of work into this thing. I mean, past year, uh Actually, it started off where I was just uh, incorporating my production company so I could put the film festival as a DBA under my uh, LLC, uh, In Your Head Productions LLC. Uh, so that was the first couple of months. And then, you know, then, you know, doing the DBA for the festival and kind of kicking off like promotional parties, my Indiegogo campaign, which I had for a while, a couple of months. And, uh, Raised a tiny bit of money there. You know, I kind of used that to get onto withoutabox.com, which is kind of your sort of monopolizing place to go. All, all the filmmakers and uh, go there to look for film festivals, and it's the place where film festivals list their film festival. So I had enough money. It's kind of expensive to just get on there and mm. be listed so people can find me and, you know, search results and that kind of thing. And uh, and I was very lucky for a first year of festival to get the kind of films that I actually got in because like my first initial idea was just social media kind of branding and I was thinking well how many films am I really going to get in a first year about you know films using social media such as Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or Google or anything like that and I just thought well I should open this up to social change technology anything to do with advancement in you know mankind um and uh, a lot of documentaries came in, and it just sort of took on a life of its own, you know, uh, uh, really a lot of films to do with social movements. And some of them had, you know, were using Twitter and Facebook and that kind of thing, too. So it just turned into this really great, incredible thing uh, that, you know, was even bigger and better right. of an idea that I initially thought it would be. So, uh, and, and as far as the festival, how it went... Uh, Oh my God! I mean, I you know I was worried about all kinds of different things going on, but like technically it went beautifully. I right. mean, and that's really a testament to a few of my friends that kind of showed up and really helped out, made things run kind of smoothly. Mm-hmm. Um, we even had uh, a filmmaker uh, Skype in to uh, one of the panels, social media for social change. Uh, so he was uh, a part of this panel, and you know it was a nice way to incorporate social media in that sense too. 
uh, you know, um, it was very expensive to be at a big casino my mm -hmm. first time around. Um, so I didn't have a lot of little extra uh, pennies laying around for advertising and this, that, and the other. So um, I kind of just went big the first year, mm -hmm. pretty much. And it was very successful in my opinion. And one thing I'd like to thank you, I mean, I think what you created was more than a festival. It was almost a movement because you've brought, I mean, Dr. J, Jim Nico, myself, you, we all were brought together, and now here we are on the show a month later after the festival, so... To the day. To, to the day. To the, to the today day. is October 8th. Who's yeah. counting to the day? <laughs> so I, That's excellent, excellent. Yeah. And, and, and you, have, uh, you have started a movement. You brought these people together. Uh, you're responsible for bringing Sam to, to us and with us, and, and you, you have created something in Vegas which is, is, it is continuing to move. And, and you uh, may have um, heard of the Digital World Expo. I think some, one of your cohorts uh, told us. Uh, one of the things that Sean said and emphasized is he didn't want to go dark after social media um, expo, excuse me, uh, the social media expo, um, brilliant, the, the array of talent and brilliant speakers and, and it, very much like you, man. It was, it was oh, the very digital cutting. world expo. Yeah. Very, yeah. very good. Very excellent. We, uh, Sean Rorick, the, the chairman came on the show and the thing he said, and I, that, that was so important, Jane, you, you were there too in this, um, in your opinion, I hope you give it as, he didn't want the festival or excuse me the expo to like just be a one night one day two day or three day event but to keep going through the year keep the momentum going so we we're trying to help him we, we want that's we want you to keep coming back keep reporting you know and and that's the momentum in other words and right uh, right okay. and your your experience ross um your event was so well run it really it was a model beautiful. of organization, yeah, I thought. Yeah. Very nice. and, Thank you. Uh, it was. It was beautifully done, wasn't it? And the, and the movies. I mean, Twitter mentory haunts Twitter me mentory. to this. <laughs> Twitter mentory haunts me to this day, uh, where a homeless girl actually was was just in a nutshell is genius. Where t just a, a, a one person with a camera and and the director, producer, writer, etc met a girl in New York and not to give away give this away because it's it's genius and to see it is more than to explain it but the but the one good thing that's that that was there is you were able to see where a girl her only connection to the world and she and being completely homeless was Twitter mm -hmm. and then when she met this camera crew and this this producer director genius etc met they went along with them and she's no longer homeless so Twitter was a catalyst for curing homelessness for this girl. And, and, right. and if she can do it for one, and it's just amazing. And then the angsty, you know, the crocodile. You, will you talk about that slightly, man, the croc? Uh, crocodile and the Yangtze uh, is a film, uh, a documentary by Porter Erisman. Uh, he spent, I think, about 12 years in China, and he was out there when the internet was just forming in China, and uh, he was a part of this little company called Alibaba.com, and they were just, you know, starting out with nothing. And uh, they end up, not to give too much away, but they end up in this big battle with eBay in China. eBay is just like, oh, coming in, you know, they're just going to just take over everything, and uh-uh. Not going to happen because this little company, Alibaba, a Chinese company, knew what the Chinese people, they, they knew what would interest Chinese people as far as how the Internet should look and feel like. And uh, they just, um, you know, uh, you know, put up a really good fight. Yeah, and their site was much more social than eBay. Right. They, they wanted um, more connection with other members uh, on the site, which I thought was interesting, that that was the, the more Chinese model of, mm. of how the site should be. Uh, so I thought, culturally speaking, it was a, a good lesson that you can't import something from one culture to another and just expect it to have all the same 
um, function and right. functionality. It's um, you, you saw Jack Ma, the the founder of Alibaba, transform from a school teacher to mm-hmm. an apartment to thousands and thousands of followers and doing crazy dancing and wearing crazy <laughs> outfits and, really and it's just a, it's an amazing movie and then you saw the the uh, eBay as like the king of the internet at that time and you saw like the, the the all of a sudden when when everything looked dark and dim is like the David and Glass story you saw where Yahoo came in and put in a billion dollars in Alibaba and eBay like hmm. whoa I think they surrendered. They raised the mm. white flag. They surrendered, right? It was a, a David and Goliath story. But exactly. beautiful. Jack Ma, what a what an amazing amazing dynamic. So these w- w- by you doing the film festival, we, w- you would never see these things. Mm-hmm. Mm. Absolutely. You you provided us with a Sam correct. He provided us with a with a, a beautiful platform to view these cutting edge films. Yeah, and absolutely. And that's and my personal favorite was probably the Naked Brand. Yeah. Um, Ooh, the you know, naked, the that undressed. Was, I thought that brand, was great. Right? Oh, and uh, Joey, who came down and spoke as a uh, speaker down at your event. I mean, Joey it, Dumont, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and, that, and that, that's what was amazing about his event is you brought all these. The panels were amazing. You had a panel for social media, social change, midday, and then at night we had a, or you had a panel of. Uh, directors giving tips on editing, filming. So you like well, visual them. effects, visual yeah. effects, yeah, right. And just to bring that amount of talent and from film and social media together, it, it was. I've never ha- been a part of something like that. Well, there's one overwhelming theme throughout the uh, all the films uh, connected to the festival, especially the ones that had to do with technology and social media. And Twitterentry actually hits on this very well. Where this one this one man says, you know, what can social media do for you? Can can social media create change? No, but people can. <laughs>